next to you. Hello everyone! It has been a long time since I have done a Primark haul, namely because the Primark in Brighton isn't my favourite. Um, I used to live near Bristol and their Primark is my absolute favourite. I've been to a lot of Primarks and Bristol is definitely my favourite one and I don't live near Bristol anymore so that was kind of stripped away from me, uh, hence why I don't do Primark hauls as often as I used to, but I do still love Primark. I still watch everyone else's Primark hauls. Um, it's just that whenever I go into Primark in Brighton, it's always a mess and they don't select the things that I really love. So when I went to stay with Louise recently, we took a trip to the Primark in Milton Keynes, which is an awesome Primark. Um, and yeah, I just found loads that I absolutely loved and I've kept it in this bag um, in order to do this video and show you, so it's probably going to be quite creased. Um, so I apologise for that and I will iron it before I wear it. First thing I picked up was definitely the inner child in me. It's Little Mermaid pyjama bottoms. They are so cute. Um, they're quite thin. Um, I basically live in pyjama bottoms if I can. If I'm filming, I mean not today because I've got a dress on, but generally if I am filming or if I am in the house, I'll be kind of dressed from the waist up. And from the waist down, I'll have something like this on. I also picked up these pyjama bottoms. Um, they are just navy blue with little stripes on the pocket and tiny little lace detail. And uh, again, just cosy. In fact, these are actually softer than the Disney ones. Um, but I just, I feel like you can never have too many pairs of pyjama bottoms. Um, especially from Primark because they are such good value for money and you can get a lot, a lot. There was a lot of crochet in the store and I feel like crochet and tassels and fringing are going to be huge this kind of spring summer um, as I have seen a lot of it in the high street shop. So I did manage to grab some stuff from Primark. Um, I got this kind of crop top. It's just black and uh, knitted kind of crochet and it's quite like stringy and I uh, am quite low at the front and quite low at the back as well and it's just plain black and cropped and I just thought this would look really really nice with a bandeau top underneath or a strapless bra. I tend to wear quite a lot of things like this through the summer so it was perfect. I've forgotten what this is. Oh it's a cardi. As you know, I am a huge lover of all things grey. I feel like grey is a colour that really suits me. Um, so I picked up this. I really liked it because it had short sleeves. Um, so if you don't want something that is a little bit more wintry, this kind of feels a bit more spring. Back to nightwear, I absolutely love kind of oversized shirts for mainly springtime because I feel like in the winter you kind of you get quite cold when you get into bed at night and you want to have like the trousers and the tops and sometimes socks although I do feel like there's nothing worse than falling asleep with socks on because then you wake up and you feel like suffocated. Is that just me? I don't know. I know what I mean. I picked up this shirt. Um, it's kind of I guess just above the knee. Roll up sleeves um, and it just says love on the pocket. So I thought that was really nice. I always see um, on like Tumblr and just all these cool girls on Instagram wearing things like this with like knee high socks. So I was like, I reckon I could do that. I reckon I could be that cool. Um, I probably can't in reality, but there's no harm in trying. I wish that I could be like the cool kids. Bought some super cosy tights, didn't I? Um, you can't really go to Primark and not pick up any of these. These, if you don't know, are my holy grail tights. I absolutely love them. However, there is kind of a maximum amount that you can wash them before they become quite bobbled. So I tend to pick them up really super cheap and they have a fleece lining. So if you are anything like me and you feel the cold more than the average person and you tend to wear little dresses, with tights quite a lot of the time, even though the sun's out but there's still a breeze and you're like, nope, I'm gonna have purple legs if I don't wear tights. These are perfect because they are sure to keep your legs toasty, basically. I picked up this navy top, which has this along the bottom. Um, it's kind of cropped. I mean, it's not hugely cropped, but 
uh, I really liked this. It's kind of quite a boxy t-shirt, but um, I loved the navy with the little cream bit of lace at the bottom. I just thought that would look quite nice with skinny jeans. It picked up this jumper. Um, I basically love stripes. I love navy and cream. I love black and white. I love stripes. And this is stripey and it feels really lovely it's really soft and it has kind of like uh, what material is this it's kind of like a sheer kind of fabric um, on the back halfway down which is quite an interesting concept I have to admit although I did quite like that this just feels really nice and soft and it's kind of like that really nice jiggly material I don't know the right word for jiggly material it hangs really nicely it feels quite heavy and you know it's the sort of material that will sit nicely on your body um, so yeah I like that a lot do have to wash it though because I picked up a dirty one so much black and white apart from the Disney trousers everything else is so yeah black and white <laughs> I picked up this which is a kind of high necked uh, sleeveless knitted jumper crop top top um, again going down the kind of knitwear crochet route I thought this would be really nice in spring when it's still a little bit cold and you still need that kind of extra thickness but you want to wear something that looks a bit more like you're ready for spring okay this was me being brave um, I picked up this jumpsuit which does do up I was like wow this is really like plunging <laughs> I'm gonna need some tip tape for that no don't worry there's buttons they're just not done up and it's black and white so I guess it's not that daring I really like the print and it has a kind of pull around the middle and little elastic bits on the bottom I don't remember the last time I wore a jumpsuit I have to be honest but I do remember going through a phase where I loved them. I think I was probably 20, 21. Do you know what though? I reckon this would look so nice with a leather jacket and some bright heels or like ankle boots. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and rock that jumpsuit. I tend to have a bit of an issue with jumpsuits. Sometimes they fit perfectly up here or the, and they're not long enough or the other way around. And they are long enough, but they're really baggy up here. So I quite liked that because it had the tie. Um, yeah. Next thing, this is navy and white and it's like the first one I showed. So it's kind of um, crochet knit and it's again a really loose top. Uh, a little bit higher at the front and the back this one and cropped and again I just thought with jeans this would look really nice I do like these little tops and they're such good value for money this is five pounds bargainous Ooh, a little bit of colour for the summer I wanted to get as I said quite a lot of things had tassels and fringing and I was like I need to at least buy something with fringing on it so I picked up this, which is a kimono, and I absolutely love it. Look how pretty the colours are. It's like a tie-dye, um, and it's a really nice, subtle kind of peachy pink in with blue and black and cream, um, and then tassels at the bottom. Um, and I just love it. Um, it's just jersey material, so nice and easy to throw on with most things, and because the colours aren't that out there, I feel like this would go with pretty much anything. Um, I think things like this look amazing with shorts and boots and a little top tucked into the shorts. And yeah, I'm excited to wear that. Here are the ankle socks I told you about. I really, really like these. They're really chunky. They're a dark grey colour and they have like big thick parts that go over the knee. I thought I could possibly wear these with shorts um, again feeling the cold like to cover my legs up so that I don't have purple legs and yeah just thought they would be a nice addition and actually they're really really nice quality so I liked those I picked up this black kind of sleeveless shirt number um, and it has a zip up the back and it's one of those that has a kind of roll necky collar. I just, I really like this. I did want one in white, but they didn't have it, um, but I really like the black one. It's a nice little addition. Um, and it's like 
a nice alternative to a normal shirt as well, which I quite liked. More super cozy tights. Now this one I am not so sure about, so you guys will have to let me know. Um, it's a dress and it is kind of a cream colour with these really pretty yellow and black kind of paint stroke flowers on. I really liked this when I saw it on the hanger and I think one of the mannequins had this on and I was like wow that actually looks really lovely. It kind of comes into the waist and then goes out um, just above the knee I guess. Um, but yeah I was just like I don't know. I think it's quite cool. Again with like little black boots and a leather jacket quite nice for spring. I really liked the flowers. They look like bunches of bananas. Okay, so this one combines crochet and fringing all at once and it's a little crochet waistcoat. I really, really like this. I think it's so cool. Imagine this with like a really pretty top underneath or a striped top and then either some skinny jeans like ripped at the knee or some shorts really like that. I can imagine this is like Nala's dream to chew on these though. I think puppies and fringing don't quite go and I hadn't really thought of that until now. I bought two floral headbands. Um, I was with Louise and she's been rocking floral crowns at the moment. I can't get away with the really big flowers because it just looks like I've popped my head up out of a flower bed or something. I think I just look a bit ridiculous. But I really like the smaller ones, the ones that are a little bit more delicate. So I picked this one up, which just has some really tiny kind of vintage pink uh, roses on. And yeah, I just thought that was quite pretty. And I also picked this one up as well, which has pink and blue flowers and little purple butterflies. Ah, obviously you would put it on better than that, I would hope. <laughs> and uh, I didn't really like much in the way of jewellery. I feel like I've gotten so fussy with jewellery. I kind of just wear the same thing like all the time. But I did really like this, which is a necklace with navy blue and cream rope on it. And it's, I mean, it would have looked nice if I'd worn it today actually with this dress. Um, it's quite simple, but also a little bit different, so I liked that. I bought three pairs of shoes, and they are all flat. Um, the first pair are these, which I always like to call school girl shoes. These are the sorts of shoes I wore when I was like four, five, six in school. Um, but I've just realised I've picked up the wrong size. What? Damn it. <laughs> The next pair of shoes are sandals for spring summer and they are these ones. They're kind of gladiatory. They don't have a part for your between your two toes. Do you know what I mean? Like they don't have that bit that the like thong bit that goes in between your toes. So they're nice and quick to kind of slip on. They'd look quite nice with this outfit actually. And then lastly in the way of shoes, myself and Louise went to like the jellies section because I really like the smell of them. Like that smell of plastic, I really like. I know that sounds really odd. Um, and we were looking at them and I was like, oh my God, do you remember jellies? She was like, yes, I remember jellies. And I was like, I kind of want a pair of jellies. And she was like, me too, but where the hell would we wear them? And I was like, I almost don't really care. Like, I just, I really want them. So we both decided to get a pair. So we now have matching jellies. Um, and we both said we would make our mission to try and wear these or put them with some kind of outfit. And here they are. <laughs> they are glitter, like holographic glitter jellies. And let me tell you, they look amazing. Where could I wear? I mean, I could wear them with this outfit, right? <laughs> I was like on the beach. If we go on walks where there's a stream or a river. <laughs> I just really like that smell. If any of you have jellies, what do you wear them with? Because myself and Louise would love to get some tips from you. Jelly wearing tips. And then lastly, we had a little snoop through the home section and I picked up these 20 LED battery operated lights. I actually have some like this hanging on the bed right now, but they're slightly bigger and these ones are a little bit smaller. And they are copper. I just, you know what I'm like guys, I'm obsessed with copper right now. Kind of rose gold coppery and they're just so beautiful. 
Um, I think I might drape them over my dressing table because I have a lot of copper in my bedroom. So yeah, got those and they were only six pounds. I realize I've said some prices for some things and not for others, which is really irritating. But Primark is generally just really good value for money anyway. So anything you see will not be over 20 pounds. And that is everything that I picked up in Primark. I love Primark. I think it is one of the best high street shops, especially for value for money. Um, and I'm gonna have to just be making more regular trips up to Milton Keynes now, or back to Bristol. Either way, it's about the same distance. Um, it's just so annoying. Is there a massive Primark that's near Brighton? I guess Southampton, maybe? I don't really want to go to the ones in London because they are chaotic. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with everything I got and I cannot wait to wear it. I really hope that you enjoyed this little midweek video and I will see you again at the weekend. Bye! I think my neighbour may have just watched me film this entire video, which is really...